Hi everybody, it's been a little while since my last video, but I'm back for more. As you may know, June is considered as the Pride Month, and as a part of the LGBT community, I felt the necessity of contribute to this celebration with a doll inspired by the Pride Month. I am so excited and honored to announce that this is a collaboration with four of my all-time favorite doll artists, Doll Motion, Dollightful, Moonlight Jewel, and Hextian. So cool! And now for my doll. Sailor Moon is my all-time favorite anime in the entire world, and for this doll repaint I decided to go with one of my favorite characters, gay icon Sailor Neptune. She could be one of the most famous LGBT member on the anime world, along with Sailor Uranus. This extremely cute and powerful couple are so inspiring because they don't hesitate to demonstrate their love during all the story. And now for Michiru herself. For this project I'm using a Michelle Mermaid doll, I am going to start by cutting off her hair, the closest to the scalp as possible. And after that, I'll remove the head, and with pliers, clean the head with scraping motions. Neptune has this turquoise hair color, and also her hairline is more pointy on the front, so I'm marking with a pen the new hairline. And after that I'm going to paint the head with the color that matches. I'm not going to show you the process of the reroute, since there are a lot of tutorials out there. Now for the repaint. After one coat of sealant I'm starting to sketch her eyes. Even though she's an anime girl, Neptune has smaller eyes than the rest of the Sailor Senshis. This was actually my first attempt. I wanted to make anime eyes, but without losing my style. I didn't get it right, so before I finished them, I erased everything and tried again. But this time, the eyes were even worse than my first attempt. So after some hours of relaxing, I cleaned up everything and started again off camera. And finally, she had the look I was looking for. With white acrylic, I filled up the sclera. And of course, no anime eyes would be complete without the characteristic big eye shines. Using photo references, I started by making a triangular shine on one corner, and a small dot on the opposite side.
and then the big shine on the top. Time for the tiara. With gold color pencil I'm marking the shape of it and with gold paint I'm going to fill it up. The gem on the center is going to be a small rhinestone painted with turquoise nail polish to give it some shimmer and extra shine. Once the face is done, it's time for the sailor outfit. Using the tape technique, I made a pattern for the bodysuit. I really want it to have a lot of shape. I'm adding a little bust dart, so let's sew them first. Once they're stitched, you have this awesome front piece that fits perfectly on the bust area. Then, let's sew everything else. For the scout collar, I'm going to cut it off on a turquoise silk, and to add the white stripes they have, I'm going to paint it directly. I don't pretend to undress her, so I decided to close the bodysuit directly on the doll. For the mid sleeves, I used some folded ribbon. I am leaving the v-neck as it is, because I'm going to stitch the collar on top of it. For the pleated skirt, I cut a rectangle on the same silk fabric and pinned it up on a piece of white ribbon that I'm going to sew just on the top of the hips. This must be stitched just on the top. The skirt must be ironed later for the pleats to stay flat. I must say that this looks better than I expected. All we need is to sew it on top of the bodysuit and close the back. Now we have to attach the collar. I'm not going to pay attention to the stitches because it will be covered by the big bow they have. 
I was going to make her some gloves, but they ended up looking very bad, so I decided to paint them directly. This project was so much fun to make, especially because I'm in love with the anime. The five dolls together look amazing, so go and watch all the videos. Their links are down below on my description box. I really want to thank Natalie, Catherine, Elisa and Christian for giving me the opportunity to work with them, especially because I am very new to YouTube and I was asking a lot of questions all the time. I'm very sorry guys, they have been such an inspiration on my journey, so this collab is like a dream come true. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And for those who already have done it, thank you for being part of Kira's workshop. See you on the next time!